Hello everyone and welcome to Whimsically Theoretical episode 2. We are going to be unboxing a very special soundtrack today. It is from Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, which is a mobile game that came out um, last August, I think, something like that. This lovely, whoop, this lovely CD was shipped all the way from, where is it from? Tokyo, Chuoku, Tokyo, Japan. Oh, it's so cool. I love getting imported CDs. I love that this started out in another country, overseas, now it is mine. Oh, ha, ha, ha. So this game has absolutely beautiful music, especially for a mobile game. I feel like a lot of mobile games, um, just some really intense packaging, but I feel like a lot of mobile games, I don't know, like are kind of, you know, like in it for the money. I mean, who isn't, let's be honest. But I just, I feel like they put in a lot of really, really high quality stuff into this game. And that's including the music. The, just talking about production quality, the music is like amazing. Like it's really good quality. Ooh. It's like in this green gift wrap. But the, oh. Okay, haha, -ha, there's only one piece. Um, yeah, just the quality of the sounds are really good already. And then the variety, all the arrangements and stuff oh, are really good. Let me finish each thought. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it's so pretty. Music composed and produced by Noriyasu Agematsu. So, not Nobuo Uematsu. Whoop, let's get the reflection. Ah, ah. Okay, whoa, it's like two mirrors against each other. Ah, oh, so pretty. Now we have Fina with the two swords. And, oh, it's backwards. Oh, well. It's so pretty. Elements Garden. Okay, cool. Elements Garden. What does this mean? What does this mean? What is Elements Garden? Okay, let's open it up. Open it, open it up. Take off the plastic. Oh, I love CDs. Don't get me wrong, I have started to buy some things off of, you know, like Amazon, MP3, and um, iTunes and stuff, but there's nothing compares to having a beautiful CD. Nothing compares. Nothing compares. It's just so pretty. I just love physically having the case, and then, ooh, it's like so bright pink. It's such a bright pink color. And then it's blue. And this one is blue. And then, okay. I've seen this art sometimes, um, I guess mainly of rain in the middle. But I always thought it was actually kind of strange. I don't know. I'm not a big fan. You have Last Wall, Rain, Fina. I don't know. I mean, it's it's kind of cool, but I don't know. It's just, I think their eyes look kind of funny. Not not to not to like bash on the artist. Let's see if the focus is better. Not to like bash on the artist, but I don't know. I'm just I'm not a fan of that um that design. So we have two discs and let's look at the paper. Do 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 Ooh, we have Square Enix. Pointo cardo. Point card. I guess I can get points if 
I become a member, it's probably going to be the only thing I buy from <laughs> from whatever that is. So, whoa. So we have some more of that art. I, I'm digging this one a little more. This one is looking a little more interesting. Um, yeah, so we have some big old thing. And then we got Rain, I think Athena, and Laswell again. That, that looks pretty standard. Athena is in trouble. Rain's like, oh no! And Laswell's like, I'm here to save you! That's, that's pretty much the dynamic between the three of them. Uh, hmm. Ah, oh, and we have liner notes. Again in Japanese. I wish I could read Japanese a little better. I really like these because, so we have Rain, the like, super HD. And then we got Fina. And then Laswell. Yeah. I like their, um, their like CGI versions. Because in the games, um, or not the games, there's only one game. Um, it's, yeah, they're like this. Lethal, pixelated. I mean, I really like the pixelated ones. I think they're super cute. But it's really interesting to see the same characters realized in super HD CGI. Cool. We have Final Fantasy Brave Exodus game production. Blah, blah, blah. That's cool. And then music production. It was composed and produced by Noriyasu Agematsu. Then we have an orchestrator. Uh, whoa, cool! It actually gives credits to each of the um, musicians, the instrumentalists. Cool. Electric guitar, acoustic guitar, slash electric guitar, slash banjo, slash ukulele. Uh, all the same person. We got drums, flute, piccolo, tin whistle, oboe, clarinet, bassoon, horn, trumpet, trombone, tuba, timpani, and percussion, mm -hmm. strings, first violin, second violin, viola, cello, contrabass, violin, wait, contrabass, and then another violin? Okay. What? Nah, whatever. Uh, cello, chorus, wait, the chorus is just Evan Call. Chorus. One man. One man does the entire chorus. And vocal performed by Marissa Steingold. Vocal direction engineered, recorded at. Ooh, that's really cool. So no wonder it sounded so good. Because I was just talking about how the, the sound quality is really good. Because I was thinking it was, um, you know, like samples. But I guess not. That's really cool. You know, they must have put in a lot of effort and quality into this music and it it really shows it's really good really good stuff <laughs> original music composed by Nobuo Oyamatsu disc 1 track 5 and track 21 then disc 2 track 8 and track 21 okay or M I assume that's what M means track cool and then we have Veritas of the Dark, or Verit Verita Verita. Uh, I hope I'm saying it right. Ra evil. Copyright 2016 and 1987, 1988, and 2015. And cool. Yeah. So here is our Brave Exvius soundtrack. I will be doing a review of sorts. Um, but I'll talk about that later. Yes. Thank you for watching.